All right. We have this nice little setup. All we need to do is apply power, and eventually these things will pretty much do stuff for us automatically. We also need to add the copper so it will filter properly. So we need one piece of copper. Let's just bring you down here. And we have the four that we're going to actually smelt. We have silver and lead over here. I do care about my silver reserves, but again, we're not going to be using a lot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add cinnabar and ferocious ore. I think it is wise to have some of it non, I guess, ore based or smelted, but I think I can always remacerate it or pulverize it later, so I don't think it matters so much. I mean, a little waste of power, but I really don't care. And we still need more filters, which means we need more gold. Not a good thing to need gold, I suppose. Uh, meanwhile, we won't really need, I guess, a lot of those. Okay, let's see what other cells. We can go ahead and do the recyclers, but of course, we're going to need filters on those too. So we're going to probably have to do this, I guess, when we get more gold. Well, we have a piece of gold right here. I want to try this out real quick. So that's charged. This has charge. Let me see how I'm gonna hook this up. I like how wire sounds like it has uh, wool in it or something. Uh, and then we just connect like so. Um, does that one already have one? Yeah. And then we can just come right here and connect like so. So get rid of that one. So did my sound get turned up? No, just the gravel sounds louder than I remember. Okay, so these things are getting power. I'm trying to think of a good way to make it where those go in to the well, you know what? Probably not an ideal method, but we'll go ahead and do this. Just so it gets in the pipe network. And let's just say we put a piece of gold in here. It gets sent through the, po uh, the tubes and gets put through the filter, which puts it into the first furnace it can find. Then every so often, these will pulse because I'll have a timer, which I currently don't. And it will automatically take this gold dust. Oop, not into there. Uh, put it into the furnace, which it will slowly... Actually, do I have anything to activate? I don't. We'll just not worry about it for now. Anyway, after a while, th uh, these will pulse, pulling anything out of the furnaces, putting it back into the network, and then I'm thinking hooking it up to the router or something, so it just automatically goes into there, and then up into the... I guess, barrel system? Um, oh shit, this needs to be charged. I'm not sure, the, I'm not sure which charges faster, the mat box or the other thing. I think the generator does 20 EU a tick. Okay, um, we need to find more gold real quick. And since I'm right next to a ravine, I figure now would be as good as any time to go and try to look for some. So, dump all this stuff into here. Pretty much anything I won't need. But I will need more torches. Luckily, that didn't use up all of them. Or use up all my coal, rather. And I chopped down a few trees on my way to my base, I suppose. And 12... Just have one extra coal. There we go. And then throw you guys in there. Alright. Well. Guess we'll take a few carrots. I would say steak, but if I die, I don't want to lose these. Okay. Let's see what we can find in this little ravine. Oh my god. Did not want to find that. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go off. Okay. Relatively charged. Ah, God. I'm sick of you already, skeleton. 
This goes pretty far down. I should be able to find some... Ah, gold. There we go. Even a few of these will supply me... Like, pretty much every ore I find will give me a filter. Also, I think it's really stupid that you need gold for a filter. Of all things. I can waste gold on much more valuable things. Oh, crap. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Okay. I need more torches so I can just freaking, I guess, monster-proof this place. I don't really need tin, but I'll go ahead and grab some, just because it's here. Well, I can always grab this later. I mean, I'm literally right next to this place, so anything I need, I can come shopping for, more or less. Sounds like there's lava nearby, but I'm not sure where. Okay, I... Oh, there's some gold. I did see a creeper over here earlier. I think it's still over here. So... Let's just get rid of you. Whew, and it was in the water. We're good. Okay, don't think monsters can spawn on top of water, so we can just kind of ignore this little particular area. Oh... Why? I don't even know how to react to that. It's like, why? Just drops down behind me and blows up. I guess that's the dangerous thing about being in a ravine. Things can just drop on you. There's some uranium, which is probably not safe to be around. Actually, be a really cool effect if uh, you could get radiation poisoning from uh, being next to that. Uh, there. Oh, oh. Double ravine or branching ravine? Well, I suppose that's kind of a, a blessing and a curse because I can I can do something with this eventually, possibly, maybe. Oh, hey, there's some gold right there. Hello, gold. And no, I haven't forgotten about the other gold in that little crevice that over there. I'm just uh, making sure all this is... Oh, spawn bust, more or less. I'm going to probably be saying that a lot for some reason. That word's stuck in my head today. And for those of you that don't know, um, I, I guess I have verbal, um, I don't really know what to call it. It's just whenever I get a word in my head, I keep using that word a lot. Oh, hey, I think this is the ravine I found digging the other direction. Well, this is nice, uh, but we will explore this later. Um, a lot of you have probably noticed that in my videos when I say, like, this looks nice or beautiful. I basically use the same word to describe things, different things, over and over. It's not something I'm particularly proud of, and that's probably a zombie, or spider spawner over there or something. Anyway, uh, not something I'm, I, I particularly like about my, oh my god, what the hell. Either there's a skeleton spawner, or just a group of skeletons, oh my god. Decide to spawn suddenly. Ugh. It's just... I, I need some better armor. I guess more armor would be nice, too. Are you guys duking it out, or are you still after me? Oh, hey. This is convenient. To kill you all. Okay, maybe not all of you, but this... Okay, that... that infused earth it startled me because for some reason I thought it was a creeper okay uh, da, da, da. digging for gold which is oddly enough what you call it when you're digging in your pants I don't know why it's called that well I can I can assume a few reasons why but oh that stupid bat where'd you go I'm going to stab you so hard hey there you go. And nothing particularly interesting over here. I guess that's the lava I heard earlier. Um, 13. That would give me at least 13 filters, if I let it. Now, where did I come out of? Not there. This way. There we go. The big cobble block. The cobblock. Oh, that sounds dirty, now that I think about it. Okay. So, we also need to make timers, which isn't going to be hard to make. But we will, well, we do have smooth stone, but we'll need to stick smooth stone into the furnace. 
So you just go in there and do your thing. Uh, go away, Bo. Oh, I was wondering why I didn't go anywhere. It's because it went on the thing and deleted it, which works. So I'm just going to use these. Uh, we need, well, I really need to make fabricators, but I don't have any Xi, Xi, what is it called? Xychromium or whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember. Uh, did I make any more relays? I do need two more. I don't think I did. So it's, while that's doing its thing, I need transponder and buffer. And I have, I thought I had transponders and buffers already, or something. Did I? I don't know. Um, nothing here I need. Buffer requires iron bars, which I just need some iron for. And then a transponder, which is just a piston, redstone, planks. I think that's what stopped me here. Oh, I did have buffers. I think I threw some of my previous inventory in here by mistake. So just need to do that. Okay. So something along the lines of this with this here and then this like that okay that's four more relays i don't know how many more we're going to need but having a few extras doesn't hurt we need red doped wafers and cobblestone and wood which we already have so buffer transponder red doped wafer leave wood and then gobble perfect and then we just need to make recyclers but that just finished perfect okay um you guys are doing your job perfectly now what did we need to make i just said it too crap i feel stupid um recyclers right which I think I need compressors for. So, compressor, I need just smooth stone, machine block, and whatever else. I'm only going to need five. I'm going to need some circuits, though, so we're going to have to take some of this, uh, some of this, and some of that. Structure. Then we just move the redstone around move this around and circuits and then we just need the smooth stone which I forgot so I believe it's the machine block with the uh, circuit on the bottom perfect just need some dirt some more Refined iron, but pretty sure we have enough. And some glowstone. Dirt. Then refined iron, and we have it. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay. Creepy noise. No, thank you. And we just put these like so. And relay and relay. Perfect. Amazing. Fantastic. And. Oh, God. Just realized I'm kind of stupid because I need to move all this over one. If not, I'm going to have to put a filter into every single. in front of every single one of those, and then it won't distribute evenly. Mmm. But luckily, I have my gravity gun. Well, not with me, but I can go get it real quick. Just need to put those there. And we can just break those, because we don't need anything special. 
I mean, I can understand you need a, a, a wrench or whatever to um, harvest them. It's just annoying sometimes. It, I wouldn't say it's even hard. Like, it doesn't make the game any harder. It just makes it a little more, like, out of your way. Which doesn't essentially mean more difficult in any way, shape, or form. Although, I'm pretty sure there's a file you can config where every wrench is lossless, regardless. But it doesn't really matter. We'll just deal with it for now. Because this is pretty easy solution. The only thing it doesn't really work on is, I think, battery boxes, because it would probably lose its data as you pick it up or something. I'm not entirely sure of that either. In which case, it's better in every way, but let's go ahead and test it. But first... Okay, I don't have anything in there. And yeah, it, it won't even pick it up. Oh, it does pick that up, though. That's... Wow, it saves its inventory and everything. I, I guess it just means it would be too easy to do that otherwise. Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We have all that set up. We need one filter, which I thought we had already. Oh, no, we, we used that. We will need more of these, or those, whatever. Um, and our gold should be done smelting now. Which I'm pretty sure it already is. I just accidentally went back up there. Because I wasn't particularly paying attention. But hey, who cares? Um, one thing I'm going to do... For now, just probably one of those and then a stack of that should give me like 16 more. Wait, that is the wrong thing. I need red doped wafers and I was making the alloy things. So I need sand, which I don't have. I think I really need eight sand and then eight whatever. So I can just macerate some of that. I'm gonna have like a little workstation so I don't have to keep coming down here for this because this isn't gonna be practical later anyway to do this anyway. Uh, I shouldn't need too many more redoped wafers. Like right now that's probably more than enough but might as well plan for the future. Redoped wafers. Let me just make sure I have the right recipe in my head. Yeah. Okay, so we have the cobblestone, we have the red doped wafers, the pistons there, and the gold. In fact, we actually have more gold than red doped wafers, which is kind of a win for us this time. And good. Let's do a little bit more and we're pretty much out of cobblestone. <sighs> yes, zombie, nobody wants you. Okay, now to set this up is pretty freaking easy, if you ask me. Also, like I said, I really like uh, relays much better than um, hoppers, because it will deposit an entire stack at a time, and all of it's instantaneous, unlike uh, uh, hoppers, which gradually drops them in over time. Of course, this can cause lag, especially if you're doing it in pipes, but... If you have it directly over the thing, there's generally no lag. Um, right now we need cobblestone, so we're not going to add cobblestone as a filter. We don't really need any flint, because we have a pretty decent amount right now. I can't honestly think of anything that it's really useful for besides macerators. Why would anybody waste that on that? Oh, and this is actually really cool. I messed around with it. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing you really need a vast amount of it for. Yeah, look at all that. Nothing. Oh, wait, what? Industrial TNT. I guess that's more explosive? Cobalt. And that's used to make, I think, industrial diamonds. But, again, nothing really important and we can always take it out of the filter later don't really need lots of dirt right now and we won't want gravel that's for damn sure I mean we could stand to get some dirt but for now I want to start building up scrap 
So those are the things we're going to have automatically macerated or filter or what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, recycled. I couldn't think of the damn word for some reason. Pardon my language. And just hook all this stuff up to here. This is actually coming out really nicely. All we need now some timers. I think I might just all hook it up to one timer. Oh, I also need more filters. So I'm going to probably have to move these. Uh, let's see. How many filters do I currently have? That's good enough for now. So we will just move you guys down so we can put the filters. Later, this all this machinery is going to be amazing because it's going to have like six overclockers each minimum. But that's for another time. Just go ahead and put this pipe in here. And then our filters. Okay. And we're going to have to leapfrog these again. No, well, actually that is what I wanted, but I have no idea how to <laughs> duplicate that. Uh, just come over here, right there. Perfect, amazing, fantastic, and also awesome. And then just you here, and just get rid of that. And we hook all this stuff up. Later, this is all going to be like glass fiber cables, pumping out um, max voltage for Direwolf, which is 512, and it is just going to be sexy. Okay, we definitely need a timer, or possibly two now. Oh, uh, and these also need filters, which I am actually don't have enough of. That's disappointing, actually. So, actually, I wonder, can you put, well, okay, first of all, you can't put stuff, or you can't grab that with wires. Secondly, can I put it on top of the wire without it, like, breaking, like, a, okay, I can. That scared me for a moment. So, move these down. I'll put these two filters here, and then the other one I can do manually later. Oh, without having to move these around. Because I can just do it from the side here. Okay, I think the main reason I couldn't make another one was because of cobble. So let's make one more. Uh, I guess the other cells will have to wait, but these are the only main ones that matter in my opinion. Uh, so let me just go grab some cobble from wherever the hell. I guess right here. That's dirt. Don't really need dirt right now. I apologize, Mr. Dirt. Um, let's just do this. That would be cool. This is going to be really nice once I have a sunlight in here. Um, this will do. Oh god, there's water over there, and zombies are having a pool party, and they're not inviting me. It just prove zombies are dicks. I mean, I would invite them. I mean, okay, maybe not, but there's medical reasons for that, of course, because you know, dead bodies in water is never a good thing to drink or swim in. At least I would assume. It just seems like all kinds of diseases, plus they'll be all bloated. But you know, I have good reasons for not inviting them. I mean, I'm I'm perfectly normal human. I'm just being asshole zombies. Oh, and I'm out of power. Great. Okay. Ouch. Meant to re-enable that. Okay. Uh, almost done. Just need. Oh crap! I put my gold up. Smart of me, but kind of annoying. Wait, wait, wait. Well, we can do that. But first, I wanted to check this. 
so we can go ahead and start making more redoped wafers. Um, just put some coal in here and some of that. There you go. And then all we need right now is just one more filter. So one piston, cobblestone, uh, gold, doped wafer. And then you shall be complete, my precious, my precious, precious machines. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking at probably, I could pull it off with one timer. Granted, probably wouldn't want them all ticking about the same amount, but let's go ahead and do this. Uh, first things first. Oh, I had a crap ton of cobblestone right there, and I completely forgot about it. I knew I had a lot with me, I just didn't know where I put it. And those zombies are getting annoying, so we're just going to do this real quick to get rid of them. I always feel like it's cheating, but at the same time... I mean, come on, really? It doesn't really matter that much. Did I... I don't think I ever brought my diamond hacksaw with me. Well, I'll go get that, because I need to... I'm not going to really take a break, but I'm going to go activate the turtles, let them dig, and then I'm going to probably come back mid-mining process so you guys can see how all this is done. Um, there's one other thing I need to do real quick. I need to make it where... Well, there's actually a few things I need to do. Crap. I do need a filter, though trying to think because if I have the filter I don't really need the filter here then I could just have it go into the router and then have everything automatically whatever's so won't need this here oh right this thing is needs to be charged real quick so pop you in there there you go I'm guessing the bat box charges faster because uh, the geothermal generator wasn't replacing it as fast as it was taken out. So... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. First I need one of these with an iron restriction tube. And then... This is going to come directly down. Not perfect level, but it will do. Um, just, I guess, restriction tube right there will be fine. Doesn't matter really where you put it as long as it's somewhere in between. So basically, it will want to go to everything here that's possible before going anywhere else, really. So those connect, like so. I could always move it closer, but I would have to put uh, a, a panel, or no, cover across these two, or else they would connect and accidentally go into there. Okay, so let me do a quick check over and make sure everything's, I guess, fitted proper. Those have the four filtered I don't want. These have the four filtered I do want. That's for sticky resin, but that's not going to be a big thing right now. This has recycling going. These are going to pump out into the tubes. These are all going to get various materials. Um, we do have an extra relay so we can test this. But first, I need to set up the, I guess, pump and everything. I should have really planned this slightly better. Okay, so we're going to put our chest here, so it will, I guess, go through everything first. Then we're going to have our filter, so it will pour the stuff out of the chest. And then we will have probably a timer right here set on, like, one. And then we'll probably have a second timer over here for the machines to pull stuff out and go on about their business. Okay, so we need a timer. Uh, 
we need these, we need this, we need torches, the redstone torches, I mean. I don't think I have any made. If I did, I used them all. Okay, so we're going to make some sticks. Just about stack, no more, no less. Um, just take, I think it's three per, maybe two. Two, definitely two. So just take two of these for now. We will make two of these, two of those, uh, six of these, and then I guess, wait, I think I might have one left over, so we'll only need that, and then I guess regular ones. Come on, I thought I had one left over. Unless I made two timers. Ha, huh, two timers. Uh, it's a horrible pun. I should probably hurt myself later, but I'll forgive myself for now. Okay, so... Gonna want to put these, I guess, in the corners there. Those like so. That there, that there, and here. Bravissimo. And then we'll take four of these for now. Lastly, we're going to need some of these to actually wire with. And the rest of the stuff can just go away. Didn't put away anything I didn't mean to. I'm going to take these just to make sure everything's getting power. So let's see. Powered... Powered, powered. Back ones are getting power. Uh, these are getting power. And extractors getting power. Um, let's just put that there for now because I don't have any sticky resin resin to actually add the filter for yet because if you don't have a something in the filter anything will go through and then that's just gonna jam this up and it's not gonna be fun for anyone okay we'll set this to once every two seconds should be fine for now you can always speed it up later there we go then I am going to add one for each of these. I'm trying to think the best place to put it. I might need just one more or I need some covers or something. Uh, I can make a gym hacksaw, which won't really work on the silicon thing for now, but it will work on just regular blocks, which will be something I need. So, what do I need? Two iron, which is a perfect amount, apparently. Three sticks, and then two of whatever gym that I chose, which for this case will be blue, because why not? And then we'll just have like cobblestone or something. Almost looks like it's like just a darker iron. And then eight should be more than enough. If not, we can always cut more down with us. So do, can I place it over that? Not like I want to. So we're going to have to be, I wouldn't say tricky, but... I could always just dig these into the ground. That would save me some trouble. Mm. Wait, what if I put it up here? Then I could just have it kind of connected to everything. Okay, so I'll put it... Um... Facing this way. 
I will have regular cobblestone block here with a lever on it. Actually, I'll put a lever here. That way it doesn't affect the filters. Then I'll have this come down. Like so. Actually, that may affect the filters. Unless I did something like this, perhaps? No, not like that. It would have to be like that, and then just like a standard block. Let's see if that affects the thing at all, and we'll go from there. Well, that doesn't seem to affect that filter, which is good. So let me just come across here. Excellent, excellent. Now we just come over here and hopefully we can just drag it across the top. Uh, why aren't you placing? It's being weird. Um, ah, crap. Okay. Should just be able to make a few more. This time we'll make four for the hell of it. Why not? That should be more than enough. Just so we don't have to make more later. And one on the side, and then, well, I guess we have to place a standard cobble block here. Be a waste otherwise. Just come across here, and I put it on the wrong side, perhaps? Let's see. There we go. I think I put it out instead of over or whatever. There we go. We should all be doing their job. Now let's see how we can link it over here. Well, right here seems pretty simple and straightforward. Just put one not there. Shut up, zombie. Nobody loves you. I know that's sad to hear, especially for me, but... That sounded like it was in unison or something. Um, Actually, I think I can just have it right here and it will activate it. Because it basically powers this block. Plus, I don't want it to connect to that, and then I'd give it down. Okay, that's really annoying. We'll just leave it on peaceful for now. It's not like anybody's attacking me or going to. Kind of consider cheating, but I don't care enough to really care, I suppose. As redundant as that sounds. Let me just loop that off of here. And we'll just do slabs. Or covers. And just put that there so it doesn't activate. It shouldn't really do anything to really make it do anything I don't want it to. But we're just going to put it there just so it doesn't connect anyway. Honestly, I could probably have it connect under the bottom. And that would probably solve a lot of problems. Uh, you know what? We'll try that, perhaps. No, I already have it set up. Might as well, well keep it that way. Okay. I don't think any of these machines turn off when you apply a redstone current to them, so it shouldn't really affect it at all. Let me try. Uh, just turn this thing on. Let's see if it stops it at all. No, it doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. Um, oh hey, there's the scrap going to be put up somewhere. Uh, we also need, well, I'll let like one piece of everything smelt, that way we can just already have like a storage place for it. And then, yeah, this should be it. My little setup's mostly complete. Uh, I just need to fill up these barrels and take away the ones that aren't going to have anything or fill them with something temporary for now. And then, of course, we have our little overflow chest, so if anything gets uh, put in here, we can make room for it later. Um, and we're pretty much done here. I just need to go grab the one thing I forgot, which I don't remember what I forgot, apparently. I'm going to probably dig that up to the surface, too, while I'm at it. 
And this is a perfect spot for a little break while I go do other stuff, I suppose. So, be right back. <laughs> 